Sorry, miss, you seen a policeman round here? No, I haven't. Good, then get some money. What are you doing? Tom! Help! Someone shot around! from your photograph. Derek Trotter, you may remember me. I wrote to you some time ago about... A... Dale! Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, my stash. Mrs. Donoghue. <laughs> I don't uh, believe you've met my husband. Richard, come and meet Mrs. Donoghue. How do you do? Well, I really can't stay out here all evening. Uh, I can hear my telephone. I'll call you, Mrs. Donahue. I do hope you'll grace one of my candlelight suppers. <laughs> Is Queen Baudicea having trouble with her chariot, then? <laughs> Being observed by a proctor's pickle. On, sir. I'm sorry you can't stop. <laughs> You've hardly said a word to Mr. Watson. She said a word to me. I don't think it was ancient Britain. <laughs> Your Worship. Worship, I was hoping to speak with you about a little function I shall be holding. Just a few friends of the right socio-economic balance. <laughs> oh, no.
Hey, Vicka. She'd already asked me. Oh. How demeaning. Now, after all the time I've spent on these bloody ears. <laughs> well, I must say, you look surprisingly cute in that. Shut up. Oh, sexy little tail you've got there. I suggest we keep very quiet about this. You do one end of the village, and I'll do the other. This will remain our secret. Fair enough. Are you sure you don't want to come back to my burrow afterwards for a little bit of funny, funny business? Quite sure. <gasps> oh, hell. <laughs> Any more will be able to stage a production of bloody watership down. <laughs> Mrs. Slocum is highly regarded both by myself and my whole department. I second that. Cheese and Hiawatha. <laughs> I'm so sorry we're late for the meeting, but me and Mr. Humphreys never got home last night. What happened? Well, I borrowed my mother's little three-wheeler. We had to go to this party in Peckham. And we couldn't go on the bus because it was fancy dress. I would never have guessed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It was a punk and funk party. <laughs> but unfortunately, a gang of Hell's Angels found out about it and they besieged the house. And we couldn't leave. So early this morning, Mr. Humphreys shinned down a drain pipe and ran off to attract a policeman. Oh, wouldn't have much trouble dressed like that. <laughs> there wasn't a policeman in sight. I went up to this man. I said, are there any police round here? He said, no, and handed me his wallet. <laughs> he passed off down the street. Well, I chased him for about half a mile. When I caught up with him, I was surrounded by police vans and I had a lot of explaining to do. Which is why we're late. Hail Queen Asphyxia, supreme mistress of the universe. And hail to you, my triple husbandoid. I summon you here to group greet our swift Imperial Navy's home. Approach, Grand Admiral of the Dark Segment and Lord of the High Slung Bottoms of Zob. Morning. <laughs> to you, Blackadder, thrice endowed supreme donkey of the trouser pod, this much <laughs> greeting. I too, bold navigator, cringe my dribblers at your resplendent puffle snoop. Yes, well, that won't be necessary, thank you. Approach your slave, Baldrick. <laughs> For God's sake, Baldrick, if you're going to wear that ridiculous jock strap, at least keep your legs together. <laughs> we'll go, Skipper. <laughs> Majesties, I give you this much greeting. What the use of the foul mammy duns? Scattered to the nine vectors, my lord. And the sheep squeezers of Splatic and Five. <laughs> Have they been suck creamed as a crown beast nubble? Well, they're dead, if that's what you mean. Last <laughs> commander, did you vanquish the nibble pibblies? No, my lord Pigmot, I did not vanquish the nibble pibblies because you just made them up. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, commander. You have most pleasantly wibbled my frosted pouch. <laughs> Bring forth the gift with which you honor me. Majesties, from a place where the stars begin and end, I bring you this. Oh, lovely. An ashtray. <laughs> Come, Majesty, he wastes our time. I yearn to attend 20,000 years of the two runoids on the box platform. Yeah, send him to the sprouting chamber. No, wait. What is it, Commander? Well, I'll show you, shall I? <laughs> and now, Your Majesty, I must respectfully insist that you hand over to me the Supreme Command of the Universe, sew a button on my spare uniform, <laughs> and marry me this afternoon. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> 